Hello! So I did a poll on my Instagram and for this week's video, the most voted for response was a week in my life. So I am going to be showing you a week in my life. I'm pretty excited about it. And the biggest reason why I wanted to do this is because as an electrical engineer, my weeks are so different every week, week to week, but also within the week, day to day, the things that I work on, my tasks, my everyday goals, accomplishments, they're also super different. So you're going to be getting a little taste into what it is to have a full-time job as an electrical engineer. I specialize in hardware and so you will see all the different things that I am responsible for throughout the week. This is the outfit that I wore on Monday. I really like to still get dressed for the day even though I'm working from home. I find that it helps me stay much more productive. Every Monday I start a new page for this 5 days of the week planner which is also my mouse pad. I write down any meetings that I have to attend and make to-do lists for my week. One of the things on my to-do list for today is to do some research from this book. This is my favorite book for high-speed digital design. I really like to challenge myself and I like to challenge myself more and more with every new project. With that comes a lot of learning, a lot of studying, a lot of research, a lot of asking around, and a lot of reading, whether it be books, textbooks, online lectures, or research articles. One of my favorite things to do actually is to learn the theory behind the different rules of thumb that exist in engineering. I always try to fully understand the physics which led to the many PCB design or engineering rules of thumb that exist today. I think that this really helps me truly know when it is safe to apply one of those rules and when a more involved calculation or approach needs to take place instead. During lunch, I made a really quick run to the grocery store. All right, it is time for meetings. Meeting number one. This is just a meeting with my hardware lead and my hardware team to tag up for the week. Meeting number two. This meeting I get to share my accomplishments for the previous week as well as what I expect to accomplish the following week and hear what everyone else is up to. Meeting number three, and this one is with my intern. He tells me what he's been up to, what he's been struggling with. I give him any tips and answer any questions that he may have so that he can continue to move forward. And with that, I am done with meetings for the day. A work day wouldn't be complete without some problem solving along the way. So let me take you on a small tour of a problem that I had to solve on Monday. I can't exactly tell you what it was, but I did manage to record my reaction throughout the entire time. So let's <laughs> dive right in. Alright, so number one is I was analyzing the situation. What is going on? I then began to do a whole bunch of research. Is there actually a problem? What is the problem? Can I solve it quickly? If not, do I need to contact somebody? Who do I need to contact? All of that is currently going through my head right now. It was also one of those times where everyone is really quickly answering their email, so you're just stuck to your email trying to figure this out together. Working remote can make solving these kinds of problems a little bit harder because you are not really able to get together and put your minds together to solve the problem. However, I have a really, really wonderful team. We work together, we figured it out, and as you can see, here's my little celebratory rest. <laughs> Now it's time to sign off for the day. I had quite an eventful day today. <laughs> All right, so now it is Tuesday. I am dressed, I am ready for my day. Let's get right to it. Now that my Monday is over, which is when I have all of my meetings, it is time to get some uninterrupted work done. So today I have to do two different things and both of them are very similar. I have a test procedure that I am currently writing and revising, and then I have a test procedure that I need to revise for my intern. This past summer, I had an amazing intern, and he worked on a pretty big PCB project for us, so now he is in the testing phase. He is currently writing a test procedure as well as the test scripts that we're going to be using, and then 
after that, we are going to be running it and we will find out whether what he did over the summer works. So I'm sure he's pretty nervous. Test procedures are an incredibly important part of the process when it comes to designing any sort of hardware or electronics. You can't just design it, build it, and then ship it out to your customer without first testing it extensively. When testing a brand new board or piece of hardware, I always check for the following two things. One, was it designed properly and correctly? So just because the board functions perfectly under the current design doesn't mean that the design is correct. It could work completely well under the current design, but that design may have had some sort of flaw. Secondly, does it meet the specifications that you were given? Okay, so having said all of that, let's get to work. One of my favorite things about working from home is definitely being able to get that change of scenery by going from working at my desk to working on the couch. I don't always do it, but when I do, it's always a, a welcome change. This day went by really quickly since I was thankfully able to work uninterrupted pretty much all day. And now it is time to rest for the afternoon. All right, now it is time for day three. Remember when I told you that my days are very different day to day? This is exactly what I meant. Today I am on lab and I will be doing some testing with the software team today. So it's going to be a pretty fun day for me. I got my testing outfit on, pretty casual. The first thing that I always do when I start on my day is coordinate with everybody that I need to work with as well as plan out what I expect to get done during the day. I really love test days. They're one of my favorite days that I have on my job. They always go by so quickly because I am having so much fun. I love setting up the hardware. I love solving problems on the spot. It truly is one of my favorite parts of my job. Another thing that was on my to-do list for the day was to return some hardware and pick up a new multimeter. Then it was time for a super quick rest before heading back home at the end of my day. When I got home, I needed to do one last thing for one of the many projects that I have going on. Here is me admiring the work that went into this wonderful piece of hardware and super happy that everything looks awesome. And that concludes my day.